Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to the new episode of Explore China with Asim. Viewers, today we are going to explore the Hambal Garden, and this is a UNESCO heritage, and this is the classical garden of the Suzhou. So we will go inside and we will explore yeah. it and we will share with you. Viewers, this is the entrance of the garden and we just entered there was the main wall and behind it is the main hall. In that hall they have displayed one big portrait which is, which is showing the full map of this area and it is really very beautiful embossed portrait. We are going there and we will show you. You can see so much crowd. Today Lunar the first, everyone come here to enjoy. So you see this is the full map of this area. So very beautiful map and uh, this is on the fabric and they display here in the main hall. Viewers, after the main hall, now we have entered to the garden and here you see this is like a wonderland. There is a main lake and here are so many ways. This is a full very big garden as we have shown you in the map also. There are the different sitting places also and people will move from here. They can have the rest and you can see a lot of hustle and bustle of the human here. Viewers, in the garden at different places, they have uh, arranged these kind of the rockeries. Actually, these rockeries are representing the history of this area. Viewers, here we are going to show you very great engineering. It just looks like one light. But here is actually the thing. And uh, I can show you by my mobile camera. Here you see, it just looks like one rock. But when you put this camera inside, and you see, if we take the selfie, then it will be like this. Means there is a reflection. We are in the middle of this garden, there is a souvenir shop and uh, you can see here is a silk and the embroidered silk because the Sucho area is famous for the silk embroidery. Even though they have some small small pouches like this you see. These kind of pouches are also used uh, for the fragrance and uh, in the history they put some herbals, fragrant herbals inside it and uh, they always uh, keep within their uh, pockets or hang with the belt to have the fragrance from themselves and also keep it in the pillows or in their rooms. Viewers, when you visit the gardens in the China, these historical gardens, you will see these kind of the pavilions everywhere in the garden. Actually, this, this, there is a lot of land here, a good space and you know towards the other sides there can be these kind of the corridors, streets and covered so that if there is the problem of rain or so much sunny, people can't walk through that. But this garden is really wow. Viewers, here they have made one exhibition hall and in this exhibition hall they have placed some artifacts of the Ming and Qing dynasty. You can see these are those beautiful chairs and you can see the carving on it. It is presenting the culture of that time and also uh, in the back side of this chair there is some kind of, I think this is the marble piece and uh, with beautiful structure and uh, they place there in this exhibition hall so that the youngsters, uh, they come to know about the history and the culture of the China. Viewers in another hall they have also placed some artifacts of the Ming and Qing dynasty. Here you can see these are some kind of vases and these vases have the white and the blue uh, colors. This blue and white porcelain was the especially presentation of the Ming and Qing dynasty. Viewers, uh, the Ming and Qing dynasty kings, they, had, they like mostly to place some kind of the rocks or the rockery in between the gardens. So this kind of this is one this one was one kind of the style of their infrastructure. So here in the garden you can see this is the one big rockery and these kind of rockeries you can see around here in the garden. Viewers now we are going to explore the Xiangcho means a fragrance island. Viewers now we are in the fragrance island and uh, here actually they use the Pulia Japonica wood. So this wood give very beautiful fragrance and uh, this fragrance island actually they use this kind of material for the means fragrance island material the woods from there also the hubs of that area they give very good fragrance. So they use that kind of wood here. 
and behind me is also one chair and you can see here is also this is a marble piece and this is also the presentation of the Ming and Qing dynasty. Viewers here you can see some portraits of some poets of that time and they have written some kind of the poetry here of that time and this is the poetry of the Ming and the Qing dynasty. Viewers here you can see the presentation of handiwork and you see this is the wood piece. On this wood piece there is a carving and this has to some kind of flowers, trees, different kind of animal patterns are on this thing. This is also the floral pattern as well as the motif of the birds and the animals. Viewers, today we made you visit the humble administration gardens and this is the UNESCO. And uh, you have seen the beauty of this garden and how vast is this. We have shared with you the history of Ming and Qing dynasty. So, hope you like our video. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel, like it and share it. And wait for the next episode. Allah Hafiz.